All right, so before we jump to styling the CSS, let's make sure we go to a website that has font icons, right? So we're gonna do this. We're gonna come to here. We're gonna search font awesome icons, right? Font awesome icon. So we're gonna click on this link. It's gonna bring us here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna search for icons through here. We're gonna say group. We're gonna take that one. You know, right now it doesn't matter what type of icons they are, they're not exactly like them. But what's important is that we have icons, right? Because most of the times when a designer comes to you, he's going to give you the icons for it. Currently, we don't have the icons for it, but we're not going to stop there. We're just going to build this design. Okay, so let's do this. Take this. And we basically paste it where it says group. Paste that there, right? Now, for this to actually work, we need to get the CSS of this. Because this is actually just like Google Fonts. This is just a CSS font. All right. So let's look this up. Require the download it. All right. All right. We could do that. Or we could come here and do something like this Font Awesome CDN. This is what I usually like to do because it's easier and quicker. Or we go here, copy this, take this, the HTML part of it, and we're going to come to the header. On the title, we're going to come here and paste this. So now we're going to have access to that icon. Now let's continue looking for the other icons or similar icons to it. All right, we're gonna come to Font Awesome. We're gonna come to here, get started. We're gonna come to the icons, right? And we're gonna search message. Okay, let's see which other ones they have. Okay, let's see, connect them, it's just comments. Okay, for now, Let's just keep this one for now. Oops. Something similar, you see this? Only difference is that this one's squared. But basically, let's copy this. Okay, we're going to come here. Paste this here. Now, we got the bell. Let's come back to the icon, search bell. Usually it's just like that, so let's see. Okay. We're gonna copy this. Okay, cool. Now that we have those icons, let's look for the search and the X, all right, which usually means close search. Copy this. Oops. Okay, put it here. And then we have the other X, which is this one. Let's search for close. Okay, let's get this one. Paste it there. Also, let's name this name equals search so we could actually know what type of input field that is whenever we submit it 
All right, now let's go back to the page that we have. Cool, we just added the icons. And if you pay attention to this, as you can see, this is just classes. This is just an I. This is a regular I tag with classes on them, right? And what this is, is just a font. But whenever you search a class that says FA and then it has the FA user, it displays that image, which is just a regular font. All right. And we're getting that because we're linking that CSS that's coming from bootstrap.cdn, which is a font awesome CSS, right? We're linking our page to that file. And now we have access to that file here. All right, see you in a little bit.